हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल टुडे आई हैव मेड नमक पारे और सॉल्टी मठियाँ दे आर रियली क्रिस्पी लेट्स अवर लुक एट द इंग्रेडिएंट्स वी हैव होम बेकिंग फ्लावर ऑयल अजवाइन एंड सॉल्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग द डो एड अजवाइन इन द होम बेकिंग फ्लावर salt and quarter cup of oil i'm saving 2 uh, tablespoon of oil out of the total oil for uh, later use we will need oil and some dry home baking flour so we'll keep it aside start mixing it with your uh, fingertips until it's all mixed very well as you can see it's really becoming nice and smooth now you can add the water just a room temperature water i am using almost 1 cup in this mixture to make a nice smooth a little hard dough not a very soft dough so make sure you put uh, water little by little and uh, keep binding it nicely the dough is almost uh, ready once the dough is ready just uh, put it aside cover it for 20 minutes and you can check the dough the texture it should be soft but not too soft i have taken out the dough after 20 minutes i'm going to roll it and uh, check the texture and roll with your hand and cut it into four equal uh, pieces to make four balls you can see how i'm doing like normally we make the peda for the roti so it's the same way make all four of them take out uh, three of them and cover them with the glad wrap that they don't dry up and then we will start rolling one of them you can turn and uh, roll it uh, thin once it's uh, rolled properly you put uh, oil the one we had kept aside on top of it and uh, spread it all over it and then on top of it the dry home baking flour we are going to sprinkle it and spread it all over the rolled peda
then we are going to fold from top halfway and from bottom halfway again we do the same process of oil and flour we are make, doing this process to make many layers then it looks nice and uh, more crispy and the taste and the texture is so nice Now again we will fold from left halfway and then from right side halfway. Press it that when you will cut and fry it should not break in the oil. You can see I have put my oil on the side to heat up. By the time I am finishing the rolling of this and preparing. I'm going to cut it into thin pieces and keep them ready. They are finished. Let's check the oil if it's ready. I'm going to put a small piece of the mixture into the oil. You can see those small bubbles are coming up. So that means the oil is ready. And let's drop all the namak pare in the oil and keep the heat medium, not very high. Look at it, it's uh, almost ready. We just need the color to be little golden brown. We just uh, and keep turning them that they are well cooked and becomes uh, crispy. So now we are going to take them out on the paper towel. Look at the color. This is the right color we need of the namak pare so finish all of them like this and fry them all mine are ready you make for uh, your family on this Diwali and enjoy them look at them they are looking really really nice thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me happy Diwali